In this tutorial, we're going to talk about creating interlocking objects. Now, this is really nothing more than a text effect or an effect, uh, because we can actually apply this to any object. Uh, so let's get started. Here we have uh, SC on our workspace here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. I'm going to go to the Arrange menu, and I'm going to break artistic text. So notice how the S and the C are now separate uh, individual objects. I'm going to go ahead and select the S and assign a color to it, and we'll leave the C uh, this default color. Now, if I want to create an interlocking effect here, here's the process, and this really applies to anything, whether it be like two hearts or whether it be rings, whatever it may be. In this case, we'll, we'll do it with text. The first step is really simple. I'm going to select the bottom layer, and I'm going to hit Control C, and then I'm going to hit Control V. And what I've just done is I've copied and I've pasted. So we have two of the exact same object stacked on top of one another. And think of this as a, as a sandwich. The two red um, uh, objects here, the two S's, would serve as the bread. And think of that gray object as being sandwiched in between those two objects. Now the next step is to select your eraser tool. So notice where my mouse is hovering. By default, you'll see crop. So I'm hovering my mouse now over the uh, toolbar, and you'll see the crop tool. And of course, if I click on any of these little black nibs, that means that there's more options there. I'm going to go ahead and select the eraser. And what I'm going to do at this point is, of course, you can adjust the size of your eraser here, increase the thickness. You can toggle it to a square or a circular uh, sort of eraser tool. In this case, it doesn't really matter. So here's how to use the eraser tool. What you first need to do is you need to select the object which you want to erase. So go ahead and hover your uh, eraser tool, and notice there's a little sort of dot in the very center of the eraser tool. Well, what I need to do is just click one time, and that's going to select the object that I want to erase. Now I'm going to go ahead and left mouse click, and I can just hold down the left mouse button, and I'm going to erase the, the, uh, the top region where my mouse is now hovering. Notice when I let go, notice how it's automatically created that interlocking effect. Well, we're not done just yet, because we still have those two objects, in fact, if I go to the wireframe view here and zoom in, you'll see that erased area. And that's not very clean, of course. Um, so depending on your output process, that might not be suitable. So let's go back to the enhanced mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select this top layer. We still have the top layer selected, the one that we erased. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to hold down my shift key, and I'm going to click that middlemost object, in this case, the C. So I have two objects selected, the erased layer and also that middle layer. And what we're going to do now is we're going to trim those two objects. So notice where my mouse is hovering. Uh, we have the Weld tool, and then we, of course, have the Trim tool. I'll go ahead and make that selection. And we've just trimmed the topmost layer uh, through that middle layer. So, and I'm going to go ahead and take that top layer now, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. It really served one purpose, and to use as a trim element and also an erase element. So I'll go ahead and hit Delete. And now we have these two remaining objects, and you can see how we've created that trim effect. So we use the topmost layer to, once again, use the erase component, and then we use the other, uh, excuse me, the top layer to create the uh, trim. So now you can see we have a perfect uh, sort of interlocking object here. Now we can do this with, with any objects or any shapes, so th this, uh, the process is the same. In fact, you can use more than one object, so we could have, say, San Diego State University. We could have a series of three objects and make them uh, sort of uh, interlock. It really doesn't matter. 